Imagine just living off of a single battery to charge your phone for a month and a half. <laughs> it's a rainy day here at Corridor, so I have decided to tackle a project that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I want to build the biggest portable power bank for my phone using an old LiPo battery that I'm gonna rip apart, re-solder, and repurpose for this battery project. I'm so excited, let's do this. Why do we have such a big LiPo battery? Well, a few years ago, we got these really big drones to fly like red cameras and stuff. One drone required three of these batteries to fly. We ended up getting rid of that drone, but we kept the batteries. And so these guys sat on a shelf for literally years. This guy is broken. Why? One of these cells, in fact, you can see it. Six cells in this bag. This cell right here is busted. They produce gases when they're not treated very well. They can expand in their own container. That's why you get old LiPo batteries and they're puffy, right? Now this battery is mostly fine. However, this dead cell is preventing the rest of the cells from functioning normally. We can't use this anymore, right? What are you doing, Sam? Get out of my, get out of my way. Walk around me. No, this is the most efficient path to the door. This is an expensive battery. I don't want to just get rid of it, so I'm going to try to repurpose it by removing the dead cell and keeping the five good cells. This is where things get a little dangerous. If I pierce a little too far into one of the battery packs, it could literally cause a chain reaction and it could start burning. We've done it before. Check this out. I feel like this doesn't need to be said, but I'm gonna say it. Don't do this at home. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I've spent a couple years studying batteries and how they work. I feel comfortable enough that I can handle this. So let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Fire extinguisher is right there. Okay, I'm gonna make my first incision on this lipo. This outer layer is tough. Oh, it's metal. Ah, <gasps> it's aluminum. Okay, we're getting close to this thing being... Well, first, I'm just gonna remove the bad cell, cut all these wires. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah. I don't need this balance cable. The timing of that joke. <laughs> I'm using the wrong wire cutters for this. That was the dumbest thing. It's fine, the battery's fine. It just shorted for a moment. I did short the battery. That, <laughs> and you got that on camera. I am not proud of that. Battery is fine. The battery is fine. The wires are hot. I kind of burned my finger. I know better, so hardcore. That was. Apparently you don't know better. Apparently you're right. It's a lipo. Remember the part where I said, don't do this at home? I'm not kidding. This is the dead cell. You can actually see it leaking here. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. That's toxic. This is dangerous now. This surgery involves basically separating each of the cells from each other, and this is where it gets a little hairy. I don't know. I did not Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why did it do that? That was not good. <laughs> that was scary. Oh. Oh, it did short, look at that. You see it made contact right here. And more specifically, the scissors shorted that out. That's, that's kind of scary. I gotta be really careful not to let that happen again. My hands are shaking. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away from this. Oh, it's, been, it's been going well. A lot of great footage. This is like these little burn marks here. <laughs> um, you're gonna have to watch the video. To oh! <laughs> Did the battery get a little bit shorter? <laughs> wink, wink. I realized my problem is that like I keep shorting it out with the scissors, so I'm just gonna put electrical tape over the contacts while I cut through this stuff. Now I have five perfectly good cells that I could also just make five separate power banks with, but that's no fun. I wanna make the biggest power bank, so I'm gonna put all these cells together in parallel as one single giant battery. Imagine charging eight phones from zero to 100% every day for a week, or a single phone for over a month. I've taped them together using just regular packing tape. Each of these terminals are gonna be soldered to this wire, and each of those terminals are gonna be soldered to that wire. That should be easy. 
So the cool thing that allows you to do DIY battery builds like this is that you can buy these USB chargers really cheaply online. So I just bought like several of them. Each little circuit board has two USBs on them along with a micro USB to charge. So if I wire up four of these circuit boards with two USB ports on each, I can charge up to eight phones at the same time. A power bank of this size charging eight phones, that's kind of unheard of. <laughs> okay, wires have scissors. <laughs> I now have four wires to use. Let's solder these guys together. I'm actually gonna wire each of these little circuit boards together in parallel so they're all sourcing the same voltage and current from the battery at the same time. Last one, last one, then all the little circuit board guys will be uh, attached. Cut to tomorrow. So now I need to somehow 3D model a case that can hold both the battery and each of these four USB circuit boards so that they're all secure and safe. This battery is very fragile, it's very volatile, and it's very venerous. <laughs> I was trying to be illiterate. Alliterative. Alliteratizationable. <laughs> Honestly, I think this next part is probably the most challenging aspect for me because I don't have much experience designing 3D models. This is a little outside my experience of 3D modeling, but I think I can do it. This has been made, and also the case has been made. Look at that, magic, right? Pretty basic, it's just a PLA box. Nico said, ah, just make it really big. We won't ever use it or anything. And I was like, what do you mean we'll never use it? And I think his fear is that it's gonna be too janky. So my mission suddenly became, we have to make something that we will use. We will use it. I miss so dearly. I love rain. Makes me want to just drink some chai, tug up in a blanket, and play some Dark Souls. I'm gonna put some apple cider in a pot and heat it up. It's like really white, but also gray. Whose truck is <laughs> I need to actually now solder all my USB things to it. All good. Are you okay? All, yeah, all good, all good. I just accidentally short-circuited the battery with the soldering iron. Dang it, Brent! Please tell me this is not one of those videos where it just like randomly sparks every once in a while and you're like, oh, whoops! <laughs> I don't want you to blow your face up or burn the studio down. No, I trust me, I don't want to do either of those things. Safety first. You want to put your shirt in front of your mouth when soldering. Okay, last one. Last one. This turns on, we'll know it works. Ready? It worked. Charging. By God, he it did. works. It works. It's actually working. Yeah. That's really awesome. But I think you need to also put like a warning. Do you put a warning at these in these videos? Have you heard about like those people who like you know get thrown out of a plane and somehow survive ten thousand foot drop? They're not authorities on skydiving, despite <laughs> succeeding. You know, I feel like that's what we're at right. Now. Yeah. He's got a point. I mean, he did. I, it. I, I'll be competent enough to do it, but I am definitely not an authority on this. Like, okay, wait. But this is actually the moment where you did succeed. So congratulations. I've got, technically this is the working battery with eight USB ports. It's time to put a case on this and actually secure it into its final form. In, in other news, look at that. That's really cool. Dude, it looks like my shirt. In the spirit of reusing things, I'm actually gonna repurpose the Insta360 box, and it should add some extra protection and cushion to the battery so that the chances of it getting punctured is way lower. Some high quality cardboard, Insta360, good work. So this is what I'm talking about when I say liquid tape. It's basically electrical tape, but it's in liquid form. So the idea is to get every piece of metal completely covered in this stuff. Even if it's it's a little hard to like fit this in right now, the foam will compress over time. Ooh, assuming I don't crack this thing in the meantime. And look at that. So now I gotta figure out a way to get these all fitting in here. I thought about designing some screw holes, but screw that, cyanoacrylate. Let's go. I'm using way too much glue. You don't need much super glue. It's not like hot glue or like epoxy or anything like that where it actually has like physical volume. This stuff acts as a bonding agent between two surfaces. Ah! God, my fingers are glued together. They are. They are. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. No, don't you dare. You ruined my skin. Ow. Oh, my God. My finger actually is straight up glued. I can't. I'm like trying to separate. Okay. So there I was 
after all this effort making a battery that can power eight phones. Hey, does anyone need some electricity in their phone is? Careful, be gentle, okay? Gentle. Oh, you know that? Hey, Ren. One Room for one more? <gasps> Sweet, we are currently <laughs> charging six phones right now. Woo! Woo! And we can go for a run. Charge we got buddy. this portal. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. We can go charge for a run. our own. Let's go for a run. I can't. I can't Let's go run. For a run. No, let's all get on one wheels. No, Carmichael, where are you going? Oh, 